Okay, I'm going to um, show that this is indeed uh, 640 by 480. Um, uh, what do we call this? Uh, we're going to we'll call this collision. Settings, push, settings, pop. That's, this is because uh, when you run, it doesn't spawn a new task. And if you don't save, then everything gets messed up. Auto-complete. These are all rigged to uh, the default that you want. You want, you... They're all rigged to the default. They're, the defaults are just what you want. It's not... Press a key, dry it. Not clear. Let's run it, see what happens. Okay, it looks good. Now we, uh, let's make a sprite. Now, you think I'm doing this with character graphics. Well, how can I... Just throwing down a lot of lines. This would be kind of hard to do with character graphics, don't you think? Okay, when they want to do collisions, I did dithering. That's not easy. I wrote the uh, graphics routines all the way down to bare metal. I wrote, uh, well, I wrote everything all the way down to bare metal. This is one of the, a flood fill is a, uh, oh, I was going to go over all the algorithms I use. I don't really use that many algorithms. Okay, we'll call that enough. Okay, so now we want to uh, uh, Sprite 3B. Uh, there's a reason for... You see about uh, Isaac for CX. Uh, wind pixel, pixel. I renamed these so many times, I don't know them anymore. Pixel. Oops. Let's see. Missing expression. Yeah, okay. CX, CY, comma, zero, comma, control R. Pointer to sprite number one. Okay. So. <clears throat> That did not look very centered. Oh, that's because this is not centered. So we go Control R, Sprite Edit Menu, Set Origin, Exit Sprite, F5. Now it's centered. Okay, now uh, we want, let's, uh, Control R, make sprite, tag text to, um, you know what, you should never lose an opportunity when you're doing demonstrations, don't be stupid, 
anyway I make that mistake a lot of times so, so try and be don't be don't be just brain dead said origin now let's I 64 X Y I have uh, Consistency is next to God, godliness. Uh, oh, let's just say 100, 100. And, well, let's make these F64. Control Alt A, Theta. And let's see. Theta equals zero. No. Sprite three Z. So sprite Z three B. DC comma X comma Y comma zero comma control R. The pointer to sprite number two comma theta. Let's see. Okay. Now we uh, uh Yeah, I want to rotate it. That's what I want to do. Okay. Oops. I'll do this as quick quickly as possible. Which uh, get charge? What do we want? Get key address SC. Shift escape is a uh, twenty eight. Let's make sure this works. Escape. Okay, it works. So um, the cursor keys have no ASCII, have an ASCII code of zero, but they have a scan code. Um, switch scan code, the low byte. Um, I put the E0 is a uh, cursor, cursor right. Feel like being Shady Pie. No, fuck it. Cursor left. You want to see collision. Okay, so we got the spaceship turning around. Uh, well, I don't feel so good about this. Comma, comma, 
kind of want to this. This is the, uh, let's just say zero. This is the name. This is, no, this is the CPU. No, let's see. CPU parent. Okay. CPU. Okay. I could get fancy. Um, let's just do this. X plus equals B X. Y plus equals B Y. No! X plus equals Oh shit. Thrust. Let's do thrust. Let's do thrust. T H R thrust times cosine This gets tricky. Y is backward. Thrust times sine theta. This is minus, and uh, this C cursor up. Normally, I use my numeric integration package from numeric recipes in C. That's what I normally use. I can make thrust decay. Thrust times equals 0 0.8. How about that? That makes it uh, decay. And thrust equals 0. too fast. If I tap the thrust, it, uh, that's not very satisfying. Okay, so it's going the wrong angle. I can just do a kludge. Pi. I don't know. What is it? Okay. It's backward. Minus. No, it's not backward. It's something weird. No, it's There we go. Okay, so we got a spaceship and we want to make it crash when it collides. So, um, technically, oh, I don't want to do that. Technically, I should test in the animation, but instead I'm going to test in the, uh, here. Okay, so now we say DC collision count equals zero. Uh, we say DC color ROP collision. 
DC. Um, the sprite, um, if uh, DC collision count greater than, oh, let's, let's just say, if, uh, let's, let's get fancy. Uh, control R, make sprite color, color yellow with five line. I've made fire a lot. Okay, color red line. Uh oh, it's red already. Color black line. Okay. I should have set the screen to black for space. Set origin. Escape. Okay, so I believe I hit control T, sprite number three. So uh, that's kind of ugly. So it turns out if you copy on the clipboard, it uh, changes the number. So you have to be careful. Uh, so we want this to be number three and this to be number two. Control T, F5. Okay, now it's blowed up. Number three, number two. If collision count. Number four. Oh, I think uh, at the background. Um, uh, ROP. You have to set the background. Oh, I think DC. I don't know if this is going to work. I forgot how to do this. Hey, I got lucky. There, it crashed. Okay, we have asteroids. Good enough. 